chickens, what would we do without them? Our feathered friends have provided us with some of the best foods of all time for a start. They may not be the smartest birds of all time. You can just draw a line in the dirt and a chicken will be hypnotized by it and kind of just stand there staring. <laughs> And there's also the whole thing where you can cut the head off of a chicken and it will stay alive, such as the famous chicken known as Mike who lived for months without a head. <laughs> but who needs brains when you taste just fantastic fried and batter? There are a lot of chickens in the world, almost 24 billion of them. And among those, there's some pretty amazing birds. From the chicken that runs around naked all day to the chicken heartbreaker. Here's 15 chicken breeds you won't believe actually exist. <laughs> Number 15. Featherless Chicken Featherless chickens were created in Israel around 20 years ago. And let's just get this part out of the way. They look totally horrifying. Like some kind of nightmare creature from a Francis Bacon or Salvador Dali painting. The idea behind the featherless chicken is that it will help to keep them cooler, as these chickens, otherwise known as broiler chickens, have already been genetically modified to have extremely fast heart rates. The super speed heartbeat means that the birds are hungry all the time and so can be force fed to huge proportions, which drives up profits. The only problem is that if they get too hot, they die since their hearts wear out very easily. Until this new genetical modification, the unusual practice was to repeatedly pluck the chickens, but this was extremely distressing and painful for the birds. The new breeds, which never grow feathers, are considered more humane. Although, you know, humane by the standards of battery farming genetically modified obese mutant birds for maximum profit, it's all relative after all. The team who developed the birds say they ought to pose no risk to human health and taste more or less the same. But I guess they would say that. One problem is mating. Males ruffle their feathers to look handsome and attract lady chickens, but without them, males have been too shy to get romantic. Poor guys. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Crevcore The Crevcore chicken comes from France and is another chicken with heart problems, although this time it's more of the romantic kind than medical. In French, Crevcore means heartbreaker, so we could call this the heartbreaker chicken. they get their name from a place in Normandy known as Creve Coeur en Anc, which is a small village where this chicken comes from. This chicken has been around for a very long time and was probably brought to the region by the Normans. The Normans were Vikings who constantly raided Paris and other parts of the French kingdom back in the Middle Ages. King Charles III of France signed a treaty with the Vikings and gave them Normandy, which means land of the Northmen, in the year 922, on the condition they leave Paris alone, which they did and invaded England instead in 1066. For this reason, they are the oldest known breed of French chicken in England. They were once very popular, but have declined in numbers since the 19th century. But with a recent revival of interest in the Vikings thanks to the TV show, maybe it's time to look once more at the heartbreaker Viking chicken. Number 13. Blue Laced Red Wyandotte the Wyandotte is a very popular breed of chicken in the United States. These chickens are dual purpose, being great at producing both meat and eggs. 
They are named after the Wyandotte people, who are an Iroquois-speaking nation, today mainly based in Oklahoma. These birds are popular showbirds too, since they have spectacular coloring, none more so than the blue-laced red Wyandotte. This particular type of Wyandotte is not yet recognized by the American Poultry Association, but no doubt this will soon change since demand for these beautiful chickens has grown in recent years. Blue chickens are always desired due to their rarity, and the blue lacing over red is maybe the most amazing combination among chickens anywhere. In spite of their fancy appearance, the Wyandots are also known as a no-fuss chicken. They are pretty hardy and can look after themselves with a minimum amount of care, making this an all-around excellent chicken breed. They are also strong, with few health issues, and can lay eggs all year round. When you add that to how cool they look, one of these chickens ought to be top of your list for throwing into that new luxury coop you'll be ordering right after this video. Number 12. Malaysian Surama The Surama is a Bantam chicken from Malaysia. The Bantam is a smaller variety of a particular species, and there are Bantam versions of many chickens as well as other birds like ducks. We also use Bantam as a weight division in combat sport, and Bantam weight is one of the eight traditional glamour divisions in Western boxing, being the second lightest above flyweight. Because chickens weigh more than flies, even the really small chickens, you see? This particular Bantam chicken holds the title of the smallest in the world, and they often weigh less than 9 ounces. The Surama originated in the Malaysian state of Kelantan back in the 1950s as a cross between Japanese and Malaysian Bantams. Malaysians have long raised small chickens and they are also known as a yam kentik, which means pretty chickens. Named for Rama, the title of the kings of Thailand who, according to legend, brought the first small chickens to Malaysia in ancient times, this breed was finally recognized in 1990. Just 14 years later, the Surama was one of the worst hit birds by the culls during the bird flu epidemic. The breed bounced back and is now established in the United States and France. A true fighter it seems. Number 11. Dong Tao if Dong Tao sounds like some kind of awesome martial arts fighter that Jean-Claude Van Damme had to defeat in one of his films, then you may not be surprised to learn that the Dong Tao chicken breed are known to be pretty badass. At least as far as chickens go, these chickens come from Vietnam, where they are also sometimes known as dragon chickens. This is partially due to their most famous feature, a huge pair of thighs that even Beyonce would be jealous of. Their legs can be as thick as a human wrist, and their meat is a prized delicacy in Vietnam, enjoyed by the country's elite. In fact, a pair of these chickens can cost as much as $2,000. These chickens have a hard time laying eggs and can't do so without special assistance from Dong Tao breeders. As you can imagine, trying to incubate an egg with those massive legs ain't easy either, so they are probably not a great chicken for beginners. They are rare and expensive, but it is said the meat is the best chicken meat of all. Number 10. Araucana now we head all the way to the nation of Chile in South America just to show you that there are amazing chickens literally all over the world. The Araucana is a Chilean domestic chicken named for the region it is believed to have originated in. The outstanding element of these chickens is the color of their eggs, which are blue, a very rare trait among chickens. You can easily recognize the Araucana chickens by the tufts of feathers around their ears, which are unique to this breed. Sometimes their eggs are even green in color, and they can lay up to 250 blue or green eggs every year. These chickens come in both full-sized and bantam, and have been exported to a variety of countries countries around the world, including Australia and the United States, where they are known as Easter Eggers, due to the colorful eggs they lay. These chickens are sometimes rumpless and have a distinctive pea comb. In Britain, this bird arrived 
following a Chilean shipwreck off the Hebrides Islands back in the 1930s. Some Araucanas were saved and bred, and now Britain has its own distinctive Araucana breed. Number 9. Modern Game Chicken the modern game chicken is an ornamental bird which was bred by the British in the 19th century. These chickens can probably count themselves lucky compared to most other kinds of chicken since they are not spending their lives forcing out eggs or waiting to be eaten. Instead, they have been bred to be the most handsome-looking chickens, looking like the epitome of the fighting cock. Cockfighting was banned in Britain in 1835, one of the first places in the world to do so. But this meant that breeders of fighting cocks had to find a new hobby. So they turned to the less gruesome idea of breeding birds for their good looks and holding shows to award prizes. And this is where the modern game chicken began. Cockfighting is still legal in many countries, including France and Spain, as well as being highly popular in many countries such as Cuba, Iraq, and the Philippines. And the Philippines is where the sport began in its modern form. In the 16th century, the explorer Ferdinand Magellan witnessed a Filipino cockfight, and soon the idea took off back to Europe. But these British fighting cocks don't have to break a sweat any longer. They just have to stand around looking good. Number 8. A.M. Samani Chicken the A.M. Samani chicken is the dark lord of the chicken world. This all-black fowl is about as goth as a chicken can get. They are pitch black from head to toe and would make amazing extras in a 1980s Sisters of Mercury music video. The coloration is caused by a genetic condition known as fibromelanosis, and the condition triggers hyperpigmentation. And if you think that these chickens are just posers, wearing black jeans just to impress, I can tell you their devotion to the dark side goes more than skin deep. Horror movie enthusiasts, prepare to be amazed. Not only are their skin and feathers black, but their meat, bones, and internal organs are completely black too. Even their blood is a darker shade. The only part of this bird which is not black is in fact the tongue, which is white or gray. Although the eggs laid by this chicken are pretty ordinary colored, that's all the more creepy. Just when you were expecting a normal chick to hatch, out comes Nosferatu. You're probably thinking, I want one of these, right? Well, better save up, because they cost around $2,500 each. Number 7. Onagadori the Onagadori is a Japanese chicken that dates back to the 17th century. These chickens have an exceptional characteristic, which is a very long tail. All those years ago, Japanese breeders in Kochi Prefecture on Shikoku Island, southern Japan, first bred these birds, and then in 1952, they were designated as a Japanese national treasure. A German breed, known as the Phoenix, is descended from the Onagadori. <laughs> The tail of this bird is truly huge and measures up to 40 feet in length, although more commonly it will be around 5 feet. The tail is made up of around 12 to 16 feathers, which do not molt and grow at incredible speeds of up to 3 feet per year. There are three recognized color varieties, black-breasted white, black-breasted red, and white. Recent studies of the Onagadori genetics show that the original bird was the black-breasted version, while the others were created later through crossbreeding. They have a single comb and reddish-brown eyes. This is an ornamental bird, and taking care of it is a serious job, with special perches required to keep the tail off the ground and stop it getting dirty. Number 6. Appenzeller now we are heading to the region of Appenzell in Switzerland, which is home to the Appenzeller chicken. This chicken comes in two different kinds. First up is the Spitzhaben, which I'm told by my Swiss-speaking friends means lace bonnet. Wait, the Swiss don't speak Swiss? They speak four different languages? <laughs> All right, well, it's known as Spitzhaben in Swiss German and 
probably something completely different in French, Italian, and Romanche, which are the other languages. This chicken does indeed have a kind of lace bonnet made of feathers on its head. There's also the Barthenur, which does not have a crest, but has a beard instead. So now you know how to tell them apart, you're halfway to becoming an expert. These small chickens weigh in at around 3.5 pounds, and they love to be outside, especially happy when they can roost in trees. Their eggs are small, but they lay about five times per week. This is a rare chicken with very few living in North America, where the silver spangled Spitzhaben is the most common variety found. Number 5. Giant Brahma the Giant Brahma is an all-American chicken, all-American other than the fact it was imported from China. But hey, what isn't imported from China these days? These birds became the number one meat chickens in the USA from the 1850s until the 1930s, and their form and features are all still iconic today. Even though chicken farmers have moved on to more efficient breeds, the so-called American standard of perfection recognizes three color varieties light, dark, and buff. You think that modern demands from social media insisting on perfection are tough? Imagine having a whole organization set up to tell you where you were not looking quite perfect. That's what the American chicken has to live with. They have feathered legs and a pea comb. And in the beginning, there were at least 12 different names for this breed among different chicken farmers, which got pretty confusing. So a meeting of poultry judges in Boston in 1852 voted, unanimously by the way, to call the species the Brahmaputra, which has to make you wonder just how ridiculous the other 11 names must have been. Number 4. Four work. The Vorwerk is a chicken from Germany, which kind of sounds like it might be some kind of vacuum cleaner. In fact, it is a vacuum cleaner company, and a chicken. That's how things go in Germany, I guess. As far as my research can tell, it is the only chicken breed in the world named after a household appliance. But I'm kind of hoping that somewhere out there, there is a Whirlpool chicken, or a Dyson, or Nutribullet. Anyway, the Vorwerk is a pretty rare chicken with a bling golden coat. They are dual purpose and suitable for both meat and egg production. Back in 1900, Oscar Vorwerk began his program of breeding a new kind of chicken, and once he got it just the way he wanted it, he named it after himself or after his favorite vacuum cleaner. Then, 60 years later, an American man named Wilmar Vorwerk of Massachusetts heard about the chicken which shared his name and became determined to import it into the U.S. and established the breed there. All these years later, the chickens are still with us, and I hear they are especially good at keeping the floor of their coop clean and lint-free. Number 3. Naked Neck Back to creepy chickens from your nightmares once more with the bird that is known as the Turkin, but also known as the Transylvanian Naked Neck Chicken. Yep, this bird comes all the way from Transylvania, Romania, famous home of the blood-sucking Count Dracula. Perhaps he would have kept a few of these weird birds in his yard, enjoying a morning dish of scrambled eggs along with his glass of fresh blood. It's called a Turkin as people mistakenly believe believed it was a turkey-chicken hybrid due to its similarity to a turkey. That dangling naked neck sure does look turkey-ish. But in fact, this bird is all chicken. They are rare in North America, but have become common in Europe and South America. You might think that this weird-looking bird would make a good exhibition bird, but in fact, they are not especially popular at chicken shows, and are a dual-purpose bird, providing eggs and meat. The lack of feathers means it does better in hot weather, and is easier to pluck. If you decide to buy one, make sure to keep some silver bullets nearby, and if it doesn't like the look of your crucifix, better send it right back to Transylvania before things get too out of hand. Number 2. Silky Bantam 
The Silky is a Bantam, known for its tiny size, weighing around 1.5 to 3.5 pounds. It gets its name from the unique fluffy tuft, which sprouts from its head, and feels more like silk than feathers. These weird-looking chickens are known as the poodles of the chicken world. They originated in Southeast Asia back in the 1200s, when the great explorer Marco Polo visited the region, he actually noted the existence of a small chicken with black skin and feathers that were like fur, which could only have been the silky. Eventually, the silky made its way over to North America, and our friends at the Standard of Perfection accepted the breed in 1874. There are six accepted colors, black, blue, buff, white, partridge, splash, and gray. But these chickens also come in a range of unofficial colors, including red, lavender, porcelain, and cuckoo. Did you know that cuckoo was a color? Well, now you do. These soft little chickens are ornamental birds, and their fur feels like angora wool. Maybe one day some bright spark will make the first silky fur sweater. Number 1. Polish the Polish chicken is a breed of chicken from, you guessed it, the Netherlands. Yep, no one knows why they are called Polish chickens. These birds are as Dutch as waffles, windmills, and red light districts. <laughs> These chickens have a crazy crest of feathers which cover almost their entire head. And they look pretty awesome, it has to be said, like a badass Zulu warrior or something. Speaking of warriors, one theory suggests that these birds first arrived in Europe during the Mongol raids upon Eastern and Central Europe. But other theories suggest this was originally a Spanish or Italian bird, brought to the Netherlands by immigrants in the Middle Ages. By the 16th century, the bird had been standing standardized in Holland, and many of the Dutch master painters from the Renaissance included the birds in their oil paintings. They were not only ornamental ones, and the French became particularly fond of their eggs. Although today they are not known for being fast egg layers, still there is some controversy about the origins of this bird, and various countries lay claim to it. Who wouldn't want to have a chicken like this as their very own national chicken? Which chicken did you think was the coolest on our list today? And what came first, the chicken or the egg? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff, showing up on screen right now. See you next time!